Hello everyone, it's Elaine Louise. Thank you for joining me today on my channel. Today I'm going to be making another Halloween card. So let's get started on the card. So I'm taking a piece of plain white cardstock and I'm using three Distress inks for this. I'm using tumbled glass, blueprint sketch and chip sapphire. And I'm just getting all that color down onto my piece of cardstock. Just tapping the colour off before I apply it to my cardstock just so that it gives a nice smooth even blend, nothing too patchy, although we will be distressing this so it isn't too much of a problem if it does go a bit patchy. But I'm trying my best to make it nice and smooth. I go backwards and forwards with my different colours just to try and get them all to blend in together. So this last colour here is chipped sapphire. I saw this colour combination on a card that Torico did, um, I think a year or so ago. So that's where the colour combination came from. I will try and link the video in the description box below. But now I'm tapping on quite a lot of water. I've got some water on the end of my spray bottle nozzle and just dabbing up that water to give it a distressed look, I'm taking my opaque Copic white onto my craft mat, applying a little bit of water to that, mixing up. This is an old paintbrush. I wouldn't use anything that you really want to keep looking nice. It's an acrylic paint, so it can dry quite hard. It, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it with your favorite paintbrushes, but this is an old cheap one that I'm not too bothered about. And I just tap that on all over that background now I'm taking some perfect pearls in the colour bronze, mixing that with some water and again tapping that all over the background piece just to give a little bit more shimmer and shine and break up the colour a little bit. I wanted it to look a little bit different to that white that I used. And now I'm taking my stamp platform by Tim Holtz. It says this is the large one. And I'm using my embossing tool all over that panel. I have let that background panel sit and dry overnight because I don't want the embossing powder to stick. So I am using my VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and I'm using this Molly Blooms Spiderweb stamp. It's a rubber stamp or red rubber stamp. And it's really elegant and pretty. So I'm enjoying using this for my Halloween cards. And I'm just popping that in the corners. Sometimes I'm letting a lot of it show. Other times there's just it's just peeking through. You'll see. And I just carry on stamping that a couple of times. Just to give some interest. I'm taking some clear embossing powder. And just coating those spider webs with that clear embossing powder, making sure they're all nicely covered and then using my heat tool to melt that embossing powder and make the spider webs go nice and shiny and glossy. And I just repeat that for all of the spider webs. I love seeing that melt, it never gets boring. And I pop that panel back into my stamp platform and now I'm taking the Fabulous Friends stamp set by My Favourite Things and I'm taking that cute little spider and again I'm going to use my VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp out that little spider and heat emboss that with clear embossing powder as well. I love that little spider and I love the bat in that set as well. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to try and squeeze in a couple more Halloween projects. Hopefully I'll try and use that bat in that set. And I'm just using one of my Copic pens, my Copic multi-liners in 0.3 to draw a, like, a little web coming down from that spider web. And now I'm taking my Frightfully Sweet stamp set, again by My Favourite Things, and I'm using one of the sentiments in that set. Witching you the best day ever. 
lots of heat embossing in this card so again embossing body versafine onyx black ink clear embossing powder and heating that with my heat tool i love the look of heat embossing so i've used it a lot on this card so now i'm just going to trim this card down to five and a half by four and a quarter inches I apply some adhesive with my ATG all over the back of that panel and I'm applying that to a side folding A2 size card base just made with a heavyweight cardstock. Securing that down nicely and I thought I'd just give my spider some white eyes so I'm using my white gel pen to do that and then some black glaze pen just to bring back the eyes. And now I can move on to my Copic colouring of my image. This is from Love Cynthia. This is a digital image. And there she has some lovely Halloween digis on the website. And I've got, well, I downloaded all of the ones I could see. I think there's two sets. So I've got both of them here on this piece of paper that you can see. But I thought this little cute witch would be perfect on my card so I'm using some cool grey markers here for her hat So now my colouring is finished, I am going to run my witch through my silhouette machine. And I was supposed to leave a little white border around the edge, but something went wrong. And so my kitten or my cat lost his tail, but I put that back in at the end. So I'm just going to run my tuxedo black ink marker around the edge. If I'd have left a border, I wouldn't do this, but as it cut on the line, and at least it did cut accurately, so I didn't lose any of my witch. I am also just going to cut out that middle piece, because that looked a bit strange, with no white border around the edge. And then I'm applying some Nouveau liquid adhesive to that back of that witch and her broom and my cat. Applying that down to my car, just lining it up where I want it. And just lastly, I go in with my Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle Pen over her hat, or the band on her hat and her top, 
and the card is finished. I hope you enjoyed that card today. Please don't forget to give me a like, consider subscribing and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.